KZ Chiefs are not done signing yet, and they are looking to sign two free agents. Because, well, of course they are. Who are these free agents, you might ask? Well, let's talk about them and see how close or how far the moves are from happening. Is it even possible? Does it make sense? Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Belo, I am your host, and this, this is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. Amaku see football club. I will just start by making a disclaimer because there are certain people who expect me, <laughs> I will say this, to always say positive things about chiefs, even if there aren't any positive things, right? So I'm supposed to say, oh, the 1200 for a case of chiefs kit is extremely cheap. Oh no, case of chiefs has been doing well. That's why we haven't won anything in nine years. Oh no, Chiefs is doing everything great. Business is great. They are buying players. The I'm not gonna lie, guys. If you think I'm negative, there are other channels that will lie to you and tell you positive things about Chiefs, even if they are not there. If Chiefs does something that's positive that I like, I'll come out here and talk about it. But I'm not gonna be a sellout now because I'm trying to be liked by Kaiser Chiefs management. Because before we go to the video, it's something that I've been thinking about. Tuguti. There are fans who've been talking uh, trash about Chiefs, this and that, and the next thing you know, I'm just saying, as a side note, I don't want to be that person who's just going to change his tune and what I say just because I want to please the, 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 the them downs. Mena, I am going to be here for the channel and give the people who are part of this community to say what they think and not to say what they think sounds right to the management. Because yes, I love the team. But just because I love the team, that doesn't mean I'm going to let that cloud my judgment. If something is nonsense, I'm going to call it nonsense. I'm going to call it a spade a spade. I'm trying to be negative about the team. But if there is nothing positive, I'm not going to say anything positive. Comprende? Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the first player. We have talked about the fact that HFC lacks in the department Yama Strikers. Caleb went to Egypt and then ended up not, not Egypt. Went to Morocco. And then things didn't work out for him. But he has come back. Unseg is saying he's hoping to Caleb, hey, Caleb will do better this season. However, they are still looking to sign a striker. By the name of Gabatino Mang. Yabona mina nyasuge lo min. Mena ngiti ngi lalele ngi funse li nganza And then you find a good unplayable reported this. Unplayable has reported good KZ Chiefs have reignited their interest in Gabatino Mang. I have already made notes about this issue, but in my head, I, I, I'm thinking, good. Okay, let's look at the stats, right? Because stats don't lie. Start from the season. Kabatino Mango, 22 games, six goals, two assists. The other season, 21, 21, 22 season, 10 games, one goal, one assist. The season before that, 2020, 2021, 32 appearances, six goals, two assists. The best season, yeah, Keuka Batino Mango of a striker that will fit each chiefs or the prolific self Kamango is the 1920 season where then he, he had 17 goals and one assist. That was a good season for Mango and there was a season like Shana Kona, Egui Pirates, Sishu City, Umango Ashes. After that, it's been injuries. After that, it's been disciplinary issues. After that, it's been all these other things going to Amazulu, not working, gaining weight, and all of those things. So if Uchali wasn't signed to Chiefs, partly because of its discipline yake and Uguti Bebe Saba, or the impact that it's going to have on the team, then why are we going to change the tune when it comes to Mango? Because if we're going to apply something in one player, we have to apply it to all the players. Nyaga City... Although a defensive midfielder and they are available and the H and seven is the chiefs. No, Nesim sign a lot because I'm injured, and you know he's old, right? But then we turn around and we say, Oh no, Umango it's the same thing, but we, we can bring him, we can bring him and, and get him. I know Guti maybe the logic would be but Charlie would be expected to start every game. Umango can come in and be a bench player still. But here's the thing, Okama was the, exactly kind, was the exact kind of a player. He was sitting on a bench last season for the majority of the part because he was injured. And he was taking money from Chiefs, not taking money because 
well he did sign a contract so it's not like he was taking the money he was getting money because well he did have a contract but now you're going to put yourself in a situation that you had with ukama with umango and and you, you know what, what what would get to me if the story is true and if it gets signed fine if you get signed i will support him because well if a player comes to case achieves and they're signed and they're case achieves players then i will support them that's what i do but again clearly i complain because my thing uguti umango has been free from mama zulinga it's the 28th of july he's been a free agent for the past 28 days if not more because mama Zulu, they released a bunch of players so let's just start from the the first of july don't have a strike all of this time because here's the thing that that, that 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 i don't like because we've been making the same mistakes for the past eight seasons and they've put us in the situation that we're in so if you're going to tell me that last season you started a season without a striker and this season you don't you still don't have a striker it's only ranga umto a striker who okay, caleb they were trying to sell him and it didn't work usail is not a striker utu is also not a striker utu they don't trust him yet so then why wait 28 days to then decide ah you know what let's just go for mango why does it have to take that long i don't get it because to me it's like once again we're in that situation where the season is starting in next week and now we are in a situation of panic buying because uranga is injured as we speak usaile we see doesn't fit even not to is injured if they try to play him through the middle so now we have to find someone who's psl proven who won't cost us anything who could that be oh the injury prone old striker who by the way might come into chiefs and score goals and prove me wrong but i will say this Uguti, what i don't like about these things is sometimes not the player it's himself good i don't like umango but the timing of the signing good why did it have to wait for such a long time that's my thing if you're enjoying this video by the way please do make sure to like the video we will see what happens with that and another thing is that case achieves have a new sponsor who has to do with loan mowers which is great i guess and we're going to move on to tabo because apparently price taker outpass is 8 million and chiefs is not gonna pay that they paid 16 million or 14 million if i'm um, count castillo because there's a possibility that we go to castillo for free so they spent 14 million on seven players which depending on how you look at it it might be good business because they go to pull a mode for free which is a good deal they go to Pozano who could be a bench player whatever but can have some impact on the team which is also okay potentially go to castillo for free would sort of promising defensively not so much offensively from one game that has played but hopefully he's gonna do well that's what i thought anyway guti was good defensively so there are players that if you know ranga they got him for a lower price for the season that he had so you can look at it and say okay that's good business so we're going to follow this model Yoguti. we don't pay money for players we just wait for free agents and then we sign them and then well we hope they do well for our team so they're going to follow that model with utabo tele njanibu so with utabo tele he contract here with what's the name of this team from poland radio miak <laughs> radio Mac. um radio Mac. yeah from his team in poland apparently his contract expires on the 1st of august which is next week tuesday and he's gone back to poland for the most of the season the the, the transfer window he's been here in south africa with the bafana bafana in the kosafa cup he's gone back to poland my figure poland developed they've signed a replacement for him and apparently the coach is preferring this new guy that he has just signed which is going to take him forward now according to sapc sports kaiser chiefs have offered a great deal to tabo Kale to say hey i'm here we want you and obviously you know they won't have to pay any transfer fees which is exactly what i was talking about it's good for them it's good for their business model because that's their business model we don't pay for quality we just get free agents who are quality yeah so that's what is going to happen they are waiting i guess for the first of august and then they can maybe make the deal official if utabo Kele does accept there's also another thing that i just saw the article that was published by sokala Tuma like two hours ago uh it's 5 p.m may 28 august 28 july so it was 
publish at 3 p.m. on this day, on this Friday. And they are saying Utabo Kele has rejected all the offers from South African teams. They don't say which other South African teams beat. What's past tense for beat? Teams put on a bid for Utabo Kele. He rejected them because he still wants to stay in Europe. But remember, there were other reports that are saying Utabo Kele wants to come to South Africa so that he can play, which can then mean he will be there to play in the AFCON because once he play in the, plays in the AFCON, and he has a good uh, tournament, then there could also be a door open for him to go back abroad. But right now they are saying he's rejected that those offers from South African teams because he still favors and fences a move back abroad. So Mina, Mina, I, I'm saying if Chiefs does sign with Tabukele, that would be a good deal. That would be a good deal. Uh, hopefully, good thing it does materialize because uh, the player, if the player wants to come back because there's no place for him, and the contract tag has not been negotiated, and he won August, they are like next week, then definitely he should come back and play with Kaiser Chiefs. And that would be a good deal because, once again, they are following a business model. Although the only fear right now is that, obviously, he has to now adjust to playing for Kaiser Chiefs. He wasn't there with them for a preseason. All these things that worry me, and then people will talk about, oh, you're complaining. I'm going to complain because players, won't be ready. The first game is Lala ne cheaper. See, I'm a teguin. And then the next thing, so Lala ne sundowns. Lay and Bombella because apparently we're not going to play like Pretoria because a Pretoria they just put new grass, planted new grass or whatever they call the thing. And because of that, the game will go there and Bombella, which means we'll go to Bombella twice in, in August because there's also TS Galaxy in Bombella later on that in August. So look at all those games. Sundown, Z, there's Cape Town City, A12 as well. And there are players who still need to be integrated to the system. Ufunang Tini, it's a good job. Chiefs waited it out. They waited it out. We'll play Sundowns, not ready. It's good. Chiefs are doing a good job. I can't, guys. I'm happy and I'm happy and So, Texas Chiefs are playing e township rollers, and hopefully, we see something better than what we saw against Yanga. Because once again, people will say we have a meltdown, it's too early in the season. Of course, it's too early in the season, but if a team can play two passes, three passes, four passes, and you see what they are doing, because People are going to say, oh, they were playing for the first time together. Yanga was also playing for the first time together, but they showed Ugut what they were trying to do. So you can't tell Mugut, ah, oh, give me excuse, Yoguti. Uh, they are new, they are new. Banning a team who have new coaches. In fact, when new coaches come in, teams change the way they play. All of a sudden, they are there. You are Boguti, there's something that has changed. So Yang Agal and Yogutabandu, they just come out and they start talking about the Ugut is over. Ekangiti Lenda Bugut has reacted at all. Angi should have been violent, but Lendo Lena yes bodarisha because kwa manje kuning kuning because na manje look beshen stadium. I learned to learn my part guy because besas good to see F and P. I came you call on a chip by setewin. Kwasuga lap. I came you sundowns in a PSL na yung ja petel. By tati came as in four monats in time. Says budget till it in this budget and get pretor. Kai came to send Bombel. Sagmeles Okana is a good to the Aranja Nelly Sprite Manj. Ugmelu Buyam Sevens in Monday. When Lapo Wille sometimes came is obeying a nine, a ten. It's a workday. We understand Uguti, the inconveniences that are done and Igmeles tool it's not Jabule because I Yagmeles been negative. Meles physician a positive negatives. Avandu Mampella Menamba understand. That's why in like South Africa we, 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 we get punched. Day in and day out. Yabon and just load shedding, snello shedding. Was on the Lama elections in the below shedding is open. Since we Lima people take advantage of us because they know we're just sheep. See a land and just na not a stabang with sins cards. If you know the main, it might trust us, give us time. Spanning is this card. One common to just sit and then listen to everything. Yeah, render again much because. We learned that we are too and we are always in general. We always miss the positive Nancy, even when things are not positive. Ah, uh -uh. yes, there are good things that Chiefs has done. There's some of the signings that they've brought in. Yes, 
But some of the things they keep on lying to us and making it seem like everything is okay. But not it's not not everything is okay. Not everything is okay. I mean, I'm not okay. I'm not gonna lie here and say I'm okay. I'm not. I'm not because if the Chiefs doesn't win anything this year again, guys, which I hope doesn't happen. But if it does happen, yeah. Hi guys, what do you think about everything that I've said? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, remember, equals help you more.